Hi everyone, it's Miros and the beloved Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is finally here and what the first thing to do with this device? Of course, to use it as a phone and how to do this? Let me show you. Okay guys, if you are living in not supported country like me, what I mean by not supported country, this is a country where you can't use all the goodies coming with your new Pixel device and when you don't have a Google store, that means your device won't be supported by the carriers or at least you can't use voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi. And what that means, voice over LTE means that you can't use your 4G mobile network connectivity during the call. And this is very important for me and my daily usage. And the other setting voice over Wi-Fi is to use your Wi-Fi network for calling. And that means if you are in a place with poor coverage, you can use Wi-Fi just to make calls. This is also very important for me and this is by default not supported in my country and my device. I'm here in Bulgaria, but of course this should work for every country. By the way, I'm using Android 15 Beta on this device, but this will work on Android 14 too. And of course it will work on every Google Tensor device. That means Google Pixel 6, 7, 8 and 9. I already have a video like this, but uh, people are start asking in the comments, is the same method working for Pixel 9 series? Yes, it will work and I will show you quickly. You can see I'm using Android version 15, but as I already mentioned, it will work for Android 14 too. If you go in settings, network and internet and tap on your seams, tap on the carrier and from here scroll down, you will see preferred network type and so on, so on. But here Wi-Fi calling is missing and also voice over LT or vo LT is missing and LT stands for 4G that means voice over 4G. First we will need to download an application called Shizuku. Just go in Play Store and search for it. Yes that's it. Just tap it and here is the application. Just tap install and install it on your Pixel device. Now let's open it and we have here a start wireless debugging. I will show you that method because in that method you won't uh, use a PC for ADB commands, only your phone. And by the way, you will need a Wi-Fi connection. So let's tap on step by step guide and it's showing here what to do. Start via wireless debugging. So first of all, you need to enable developer options on your device to do this. Just go in settings scroll down about phone scroll to the bottom and tap seven times on build number now just go back and select system scroll to the bottom and select developer options from here just scroll down a little bit and enable usb debugging when it's enabled tap on wireless debugging and enable it too here it's written allow wireless debugging on this network and here in wireless debugging pair device with pairing code tap on it and this is your pairing code now we need to go back to shizuku and tap on pairing give it the necessary permissions of course to read the notifications so it's searching now Let's go back and you need to select one more time pair device with pairing code because I wasn't give Shizuku necessary permissions and now here is the code. Now Shizuku notification is active and enter the code. You need to enter the same code which is shown here which is 119172. Of course yours will be different. Pairing successful. You can start Shizuku service now. Now let's go back to Shizuku and hit on start. Now Shizuku is running and this is everything with this application. Now we need the second one which is Pixel IMS. Now we need to go to GitHub and download this Pixel Volte patch or Pixel IMS application. Of course link, link will be in video description. Thank to that guy, Kujin Cho, for providing this application for us. So when you scroll down and see that install Pixel IMS application, 
you need to download it here from that uh, GitHub releases. Just tap on it, wait a minute, of course, and file is start downloading. Let's open it. We need to give it permissions to Chrome to install applications, of course. And Pixel IMS now wants to install. Of course, we want that too. App installed, done when you are ready. So your Shizuku is running. This is very important. If uh, wireless debugging is not working from, uh, from the first time, just repeat the steps. And now just open Pixel IMS. Allow Pixel IMS to access Shizuku. Of course, we need to allow it. And now, when you are ready here, it's written Volte supported by device. Yes, IMS status in unregistered. Now we need to tap here on the top of your uh, carrier profile. Of course, you will need a SIM card. And now enable voice over LTE. Scroll down and enable voice over Wi Fi. And it's written, you have uh, another settings, voice uh, over Wi-Fi while roaming, and you can check all the settings. I'm not sure all of them will work. And you also can enable enhanced 4G. And we have video calling VT. Just check all the options. Of course, you can uh, enable voice over Wi-Fi icon, but I'm not sure it will work in that way to show you. And also you can switch to show 4G instead of LTE icon. When you are ready with this step, just restart your device and test it. Now guys, let's go in the phone settings menu, select your SIMs and tap on the carrier. And now just scroll down and you can see we have voice over LTE toggle. Now it's enabled. Use LTE services to improve voice calls, recommended. Yes, we know, and Wi-Fi calling is disabled. Now, let's just enable it. And you have two options here. So the, the whole process, the whole idea is to enable these two options because before that, they were missing from our device. And you have here a preferences, call over Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is unavailable, use mobile network. Call over mobile network. If mobile network is unavailable, use Wi-Fi. So you can select one of these two. And now let's check here the IMS status. Phone information and just tap on the IMS status and you can see voice over Wi-Fi is now available. If I disable Wi-Fi, let's tap again and voice over now. Let's Voice over Wi-Fi is available because here my coverage is very poor, but both are working and I will even show you that they are working when I call someone. And you can see here it is HD and we have that Wi-Fi uh, icon. That means it's Wi-Fi call through the voice over Wi-Fi and it's even written Wi-Fi call. That was it, guys. Simple as that. Remember, links will be in video description to IMS github web page you can thank to the author there and of course you can thank to me by subscribe to my channel and like my videos thanks for watching have a nice day